Good morning. I'm Cynthia Tinsay Gonzalez, Minister of St. Alfonso's Parish Education Ministry. In today's Gospel reading, written by St. Matthew, I chose verses 30 and 31, which reads, But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me! Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him, and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? These two verses resonate because it portrays aspects of my relationship with Jesus, which are faith, doubt, and redemption. Oftentimes, I do find myself to be a woman of faith. But when trials come my way, I begin to doubt and I am overcome with anxieties, that it overwhelms me. I ask myself, why? Why do I doubt every time trials come? The answer I find is in the feeling of unworthiness of God's love. Maybe because as I look back in the events of my life, some of the choices I made, I know deep in my heart I deserve this trial and even more. But you see, God is so merciful. He never ceases to make me feel His love mercy and tenderness as He immediately responds to my pleas. And then I'm relieved. I am filled with so much joy, consolation that only He can give. This is so apparent in my latest encounter with Jesus. Let me share. My sister from New York, an ER doctor, had an accident last June. This resulted to a foot injury. So, I flew to New York to help out. When I arrived, I was shocked at my sister's condition. She understated her injury. It was so bad, I cried. I also panicked, and with a sinking feeling, I thought, I am not going to be able to go home soon. I prayed fervently. I could not imagine how my sister, who had just lost her husband, got COVID, have a foot injury, within a year and a half of each other. But you see, here is the miracle. Here is God's amazing healing power and mercy. A few days after I arrived, she began to get better. Her healing became faster. She began to regain her strength. And by the time I left, she was walking with a limp and was becoming more self-sufficient. A necessity when you live in America. My sister claims that her stars align to conspire with her healing. I claim it as God's answer to my prayers and all the prayers of our family and friends who rallied behind her. Faith, doubt, and God's immediate response. It is a cycle in my life. What makes it easier for me today when situations like this arise is when the doubt attacks come. I'm able to quiet my heart and my mind sooner than later by whispering, Jesus, I trust in you again and again and again. This shift, this positive attitude, did not happen overnight. It took years of developing a committed prayer time and attention to God, because it is only through this that I hear and feel His response in the events of Prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for the gift of prayer. It allows me to persevere in prayer when the going gets tough. Thank you for your immediate response to my peace when doubt and anxieties overwhelm me. Thank you for the gift of prayer that allows me to see your answers in the events of my life. Thank you for your loving attention that makes me feel love, tenderness, and consolation like no other. Saint Alphonsus Mary de Liguri, thank you for your intercession. Mary, Queen of Heaven, thank you for your intercession. Amen. Thank you everyone for listening. Please come and join us in our online Sunday Mass today. See you.